With the release of Houdini 18.5 and the new Kinefix framework for animation and rigging, a whole new world of mocap has opened up for Houdini. In this video, we'll walk through how to record and export an animation from Rococo Studio to a character in Houdini, as well as how to live stream mocap directly into Houdini using the new Rococo Studio Houdini plugin. Let's get into it. First, we're going to look at how to retarget an animation that we've created in Rococo Studio to a character in Houdini. Rococo Studio, which you can download for free right now at rococo.com, comes with a sample project of animations that we've already recorded. We're going to export this gunslinger animation and bring it into Houdini. This animation was created with a SmartSuit Pro and the new Smart Gloves, and this process would also work with any recording that you made at home with your SmartSuit and your Smart Gloves. Right click on the take and select export. For Houdini, I want to export an FBX with the Rococo skeleton, and I want to include the body mesh in the export. Hit export and now we'll jump into Houdini. First thing we'll do is drop down a geo node. We'll call it geo character. Then let's hop in and drop down an FBX animation node. This will allow us to easily import our gunslinger animation. There we go. And now if we hit play, we can see our animation playing. Now let's import a character to put this mocap on. Drop down an FBX character import node and then import your character. This character, Romer, is available to download in the description below for free so you all can follow along if you want. To retarget our mocap, first we'll drop down a bone deform node. We'll leave this node alone for now. Next. Throw down a Rig Match Pose node. Now if we select that node, we won't actually see anything in our scene view. That's because we have to select the node and then hit enter while hovering over the scene view. Now we can see both our animation skeleton and our character skeleton. We want our animation and character to be in as close as the same pose as possible to get the best retargeting. Ideally, both of them will be in a T pose. We can see that the thumb is in a different position on our animation, so I'll actually just adjust that to match our character by hitting the tweak, rotate, links, and moving the thumb into place. I'll do this for both hands. You could also use this process if your character was, say, in an A pose, but your animation started in a T pose. Next, we'll drop down a map points node. This is where the magic really starts happening. Select the node and hit enter in the scene view. Now what we'll do is connect the corresponding joints between the skeletons. We can also add a little offset to make it easier to see. To map the joints to each other, just click on your animation skeleton and then click on the corresponding joint on the character. Here we can grab the left shoulder and then drag that to the character's left shoulder. For the fingers, the thing to remember is that the proximal joint is the same as the first joint on the character's hand usually. If you mess up, you can always just hold down control and click that joint and then click away and it will clear the joint. There we go, we're done. Next, we'll drop down a full body IK node. Connect that to our bone deform and blammo, we have our character retargeted. This system is very new and this is just scratching the surface. So if you wanna find out more, I suggest heading over to the side effects tutorials for more help. Again, we will also be releasing more in-depth tutorials shortly. Okay, so there we have our mocap retargeted, but with the release of Rococo Studio 1.18, you can also live stream your mocap directly into Houdini. 
To do so, make sure you update to the latest Side Effects Labs version. This is how you access our plugin. Once you've done that, you may need to restart Houdini, but then you'll have access to the Rococo mocap stream node. If you click it, we can see that we have some port options here. So now if we hop back into Rococo Studio, you can see that I have my smart suit on, smart gloves on and connected, looking good. Um, so how do we live stream this data that we're, we're doing right now um, into Houdini? So to start a live stream, we'll head down to this live stream section, click it, head over to our Houdini area. And if we turn this on and we hit the little gearbox here, we can see some port information that should look kind of familiar. So this port is 14045. If we jump back into Houdini and we look at our node here, and we change this to 14045 to match, hit enter, and then hit connect. Now you can see that we have a mocap streaming into Houdini. And I think we need to do a little straight pose here, which we'll do. And now if we look in Houdini, we should see, yeah, we have our, our character our mocap streaming uh, live into Houdini. And if you see any lag, that's just from the recording. Looks nice and crispy to me. Um, so how do we now get this mocap onto our character? Well, it's essentially going to be the same process that we just did. So I'll time lapse through that a little bit. And now if we just do the same process, hit enter again. We are going to adjust the thumbs like we did last time. There we go, done with the uh, rig match pose node. Now we'll move on to mapping our points. Give us a little space again, point three. And we're just gonna drag our joints together here. I'm not going to do the fingers, just in the interest of time. Neck, head, left shoulder, arm, forearm, hand. There we go. And now, if we go over to our we might need to do another straight pose, but if we click on our bone to form, there you go, we have our character. Zoom out a bit here. And again, I didn't do the fingers, but you can see that we are now uh, streaming our data into Houdini live. And so the possibilities for this are really endless, um, as I'm sure you can imagine. You know, if we just say wanted to copy a bunch of points or, you know, geometry onto our skeleton here, we could always just, you know, because we have points here, grab something like a, you know, copy to points node, drag our skeleton in, grab some geometry. Let's just grab a sphere. You know, maybe we'll Bring the size down a little bit, but now we have all these spheres, spheres that are that are copied to our skeleton. So you can use this workflow to create a bunch of different effects, and we're really just starting to scratch the surface in terms of what's possible with this new KinEffect system. So as I said before, we'll be releasing more tutorials for Houdini as we refine our workflows, but hopefully this video was enough to get you started on your Rococo mocap journey in Houdini. If you check out the side effects website, there are some really exciting possibilities for what you can do with the infinite procedural system that Houdini is. We've put the .hip for this project in the description below, along with Romer, that character, for free that you can download right now and check out this workflow. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and stay tuned for new tutorials coming soon.